When everyone decided to make the same RGB CPU cooler with 4 heat pipes, Arctic decided to make a completely passive CPU cooler compatible with both AMD Ryzen and Intel latest CPUs. The Alpine 12 and Alpine AM4 are a pair of fully passive cooling systems. The heat sinks themselves are machined from a solid block of aluminum and then anodized. Both the Intel and AM4 variants have a recommended TDP of a around 47 watts, but I tested them with more than double that. The mounting system is simple and easy to install. There are only three components in the whole assembly. The rubber washer, a metallic spring and a metallic bolt. These screw into the heatsink from behind the motherboard. The only issue that you may have is aligning the holes with the screws. Both Alpine coolers are packaged in the same style of cardboard box. The front side of the packaging featuring a black and white profile photo of the Alp Alpine heatsink, while the left sides around the heatsink is covered by the name of the product and of course a QR code which contains the manual and other information. The differences between the Alpine 12 and the Alpine AM4 are the size and the weight. The Alpine AM4 weighs 49 grams more and it is larger by a 5mm overall. Both heatsinks share the same design and material is used. The base of the Alpine coolers is simple and solid. It is part of the whole aluminum block that the cooler is machined from. On the base there is also enough pre-applied Arctic MX4 thermal compound for one use. For heat dissipation, there are a total of 20 fins on the Alpine 12 and a total of 21 fins on the AM4 variant. Due to the heatsink being essentially one block of aluminum, the heatsink have a better contact with the CPU surface. As I've said in the introduction of this video, while both heatsinks have a recommended TDP of 47 watts, I use them both on CPUs that have a much higher TDP. The Alpine AM4 was tested on a Ryzen 1700X, a CPU that has a starting TDP of 97 watts. The Alpine 12 was tested using the Gould Old i5-6600. CPU. And of course, when you test something, it's also tempting to overdo it, and I did. Both heatsinks were tested with, with these CPUs overclocked to 4.5 GHz for the Intel platform and 4.0 GHz on the AMD platform, and the results are surprising to say the least. Starting with the Alpine 12 and the Intel platform, with no overclocking and good airflow inside the case, the CPU temperature reached 78 degrees Celsius with an ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius, while with the CPU overclocked to 4.5 GHz, the temperature reached 100 degrees and the CPU started to heavily throttle before it crashed. Of course, there is no surprise that a passive cooler of this size wasn't able to cool such an overclocked CPU. However, the impressive thing about the Alpine 12 is that it managed to match small coolers such as the Cryorix C7. The Alpine AM4 was tested in the same conditions. The only differences between the two testing platforms are the motherboards and the CPUs. With an ambient temperature of 26 degrees, the 1700X reached 83 degrees in full load with the factory settings. With the CPU overclocked to 4 GHz, the temperature jumped to 100 degrees Celsius and the system crashed. The 100 degrees reading was the last temperature reading before a full system reboot. And then there's the noise performance. After using both Alpine passive coolers for more than a month, I can say that these are one of the best passive cooling solutions available on the market today. And both are pretty cheap as well, having the same price of 12.99 euros. While the temperatures reached are high, don't forget that I have been using these coolers on CPUs that have the double the recommended TDP. The Alpine passive coolers would do great with an i3 or a Ryzen 5 CPU. And paired with some low speed fans, you can get a silent system that can run any game thrown at it. Until the next video, happy holidays and don't forget to subscribe and comment.